trying something different for the ornate um, box turtles that we have outside. We got this greenhouse film and these hoops, and we covered these guys up. We uh, we're hoping that this keeps them a little bit warmer. We're going to put a thermometer in there just to test to see how much warmer it is. Bob's got Bob's got on a sweatshirt and shorts and flip flops today. But anyway, here comes the sun. So right now we have bricks holding it, holding it down because we still want to fill it with hay. We threw a bunch of mulch in there and there's leaves in there. We, uh, I'm sorry, straw, not hay. Straw. Straw. Nicole. Nicole. But yeah, we're going to fill it with straw just to give them a little bit more insulation. And uh, hopefully this, uh, this helps. Last year we had just like a little mini greenhouse over part of it. It wasn't covering the whole thing. But this hopefully will insulate the entire enclosure and keep these guys safe, safe for the winter. Hopefully we won't have a bad winter, but we have no idea what is coming. It's only November definitely get snow. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we figure once we uh once we get the straw in there and we feel like it's uh it's ready to be closed up, we're probably just gonna wind up putting down some wood and stapling it down just so uh it stays nice and secure. And when it does snow we'll be able to just brush the snow right off. But yeah we'll see what happens. Unfortunately these hoops don't come much bigger than this. So we couldn't get anything bigger to just make a bigger arch. But if we have to, we'll, we'll tape two of them together and see if we can rig it. But hopefully this works and uh, we're hopeful the deserts just went inside today and uh, they'll stay inside. We're going to probably put them in one of the iguana enclosures just so they can kind of live with them. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty sad out here. Everything's, are still out here. everything's uh, fruity pebbles out here right now. Yeah, the Hermans are out. They'll probably come in next next month. Last year we brought them in. Was it the week of Christmas? Uh, a couple weeks before. A couple weeks before because we knew it was supposed to get down to like the zeros or whatever we had for like two weeks straight. Yeah, the only guy out is uh. Oh, one of the golf. We have Rex out over here. Yeah, Rex is getting some sun. He wants to come out. So we'll let him get some sun. When he wants to come back in, he'll he'll go over to the door. It's funny. It's got. It's in the. It's in the low. 40s. It's in the low 40s, and he wanted to come out. So as long as the sun's out, uh, he's all right. But we'll keep an eye on him. He knows when to uh, to head back to the door. And he knows if it's if it's uh, if it's cloudy out, he won't even he won't come out. He, we had a day last Friday where it was uh, it was really cloudy, but it was like 70 degrees, and he did not want to come out. He walked to the door, walked right back under his light. He was like, mm -hmm, nah. So we got three toads in here. I'm gonna throw a straw in here as well. Our buddy Tom has a couple bales for us, so we'll probably pick them up maybe this weekend. And this is where the golfs are. We're gonna get ready to bring these guys down into the basement. But one of the females was walking around. I don't know where she went. Yeah, she was out in the sun. She was just walking around out here. A few minutes here. ago. She took cover someplace. Yeah, I think a lot of these guys are in the water. I think they're tucked in in there. They're gonna, uh, we're going to brewmate those, these guys, in the basement this year, try something different with the golf, in that blue 300 gallon tub, so our basement isn't heated, it's where we kept the Hermans last year, so what we're going to do, we're going to fill this up with dirt and leaves and straw, and uh, hopefully it'll fit through the door, <laughs> and we'll get this down in the basement and just and let them, let them brewmate under there. But we're gonna give them access to water in case they, they do come out a little bit. The basement, the coldest it gets down there is probably in the low 40s. And that's during, that's in the coldest corner during the coldest parts of the winter. Um, we wish it would actually stay a little colder down there for these guys that we brewmate. But it, it mo mainly stays in the 50s down there. So we want them, we want to still be able to watch these guys and how they behave. Um, so we just feel it's a little bit too too cold and risky to keep them out. So we're going to try this, and uh, we'll 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what happens. But yeah, this thing is long, yeah. Wide. This thing's awesome. When we first got the uh, sliders, we had them in here. We had uh, we had Winston and Big Mama in there yeah. when we first when we first got them from Dan. Before the pond. Before we built the pond, and yeah, this is a great great tub. But hopefully, it's good for those guys. We got ten of those golfs, so they'll be able to uh, dig under if they want, or if they want to stay out. They'll stay out. If they if they don't want to hibernate, they want to brewmate. We'll just put a light on them and yeah, and, and let them uh let them do their thing. This way we'll be able to keep, keep a better eye on them than uh, going over uh, in that corner over there. Yeah. So uh, we'll try it. But they all ate so so good. We we fed everything a lot towards the end of the summer or the beginning of the fall. To make sure everybody was ready. And uh, that's it. This is it. Are your legs cold? Point of no return. Are your feet Actually, cold? Not too bad. Uh, my feet are cold and I got sneakers and socks on. Not too bad. Maybe they're just numb at this point. <laughs> this is it though. Yeah. No, no release until, until, until April. April. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe May. Horrible. Yeah, it's very sad out here. This is like, uh, it's just, yeah, everything's emptied and leaves. We gotta dump this again, all the rain we've been getting. Uh, yeah, I'll do it later. Yeah. All right. Uh, Over and out.